Mr. Andrian Korpadin. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Peter. And uh, thanks to all of your colleagues from the Hellenic Institute of Cultural Diplomacy. Let me just tell you that as the Dean of the Faculty of European Studies of Bavishvoy University in Cluj-Napoca, Romania, we are very pleased to enter the partnership that we have just concluded with you and which is bound to be mutually beneficial for a variety of reasons. Well, first of all, let me tell you that we are a 1,500 strong community at this time at the Faculty of European Studies, and I do mean my colleagues, we have 50 teaching staff and we have students at the bachelor's level, the master's level and the very strong and internationalized PhD school. And we do share a lot of your values, uh, which is why I believe that our partnership will actually yield quite a lot of very interesting common activities. The mission of the Faculty of European Studies is threefold. First of all, we deal with obviously teaching. Uh, then we, we do research and a very important segment of what we do in DAO's relations with society. So uh, this fits very well into the logic of this young but dynamic faculty of the University of Cluj, whose purpose is to foster knowledge and to promote skills in the area of European integration as well as international relations. And in this regard, let me just tell you that we are directly involved uh, with respect to our new partnership in the promotion and the development of a very dynamic line of studies at the bachelor's level, which is called business diplomacy, and which is in very, very high demand on the regional market. But we also have a very powerful master's degree called cultural diplomacy and international relations, which was honored with uh, the title of an Erasmus Mundus master's course by the European Commission. In fact, in Romania, we have five Erasmus Mundus projects at this time, two of which are being implemented at the Faculty of European Studies. So you can see that there is great compatibility between what we do at this faculty and of course, your very rich activity. I'm sure that our partnership will yield common projects. We are very interested in having an exchange with regards to the research that we are promoting. We'll be very happy to welcome some of your speakers to our conferences. And of course, we'd like to contribute to all of your events. We have a tradition at the Faculty of European Studies to welcome a lot of decision makers from the field of diplomacy. And uh, I do believe that many of our experts could prove to be welcome speakers to your uh, events. And uh, we look forward to doing uh, many other activities in our communities with you to have common publications, to have common events, and also to partake in what Erasmus has to offer, especially with respect to student internships. We actually have students from all around the world, some of whom are helped by the Erasmus Mundus grants. And uh, we do have a 100 20 strong Erasmus network of uh, academic and non-academic partners. So I could go on speaking a lot about the values that we share, about the many activities that we look forward to implementing together with you. And I do believe that today we've made a very important first step in this regard. Uh, with your indulgence, I will be very honored to pose my signature on the agreement that we are concluding today. So as Dean of the Faculty of European Studies, I am glad to be signing this partnership live, and I'm also very glad to be able to start implementing our common activities. Thank you so much, Peter, and thanks again to all of your colleagues and to all of your community. Thank you very much, Adrian. Uh, you were weak, like a machine, and, and uh, what I would like to uh, have from you as last thing is a small description of what we are going to sign uh, so to give a broader idea to the public uh, on uh, what is inside this paper. Thank you, Peter. Let me just uh, explain how I see the content of this memorandum of, of uh, understanding. Uh, first of all, it is well within our tradition to sign memoranda with uh, institutions that share our principles and with which we are able to conduct common activities, which is why today's document sets the basis for our future activities. It also states 
that the purpose of our memorandum is not only to implement what we already know will be quite interesting activities such as staff exchange, student exchange, future events together, publications, and also quite a bit of mutual promotion, if you will. But we will also have this exploration part, if you will, in which, for example, we will try to find new ways of seeking funding for our common projects, of seeking high level guests that could become speakers at your events or at common events. Uh, and also, we will attempt to make part of this memorandum in the best interest of our students and beneficiaries uh, overall, because as I was telling you, Part of it involves the possibility to conduct research together, maybe to do some teaching together. We'll be so pleased to have some of your experts come to our courses and seminars and share uh, their expertise with our students and with our doctoral candidates and so on. Uh, but also we have a very, very important uh, element related to what the Erasmus program has to offer. So we will try to see to what extent we'll be able to involve some student and staff exchange with the help of the sponsorship that is available through Erasmus. So the convention, I would say, is uh, much more than a statement of good intentions. It's something that provides for the exploration of concrete activities that have this particular element, which is academic, but also very much connected to uh, the field of diplomacy, uh, the field of us and you trying to cultivate in common relations with society. So I think it's a very concrete document and it's a great beginning to start uh, something that could be enriched greatly uh, once we have implemented the first steps. Uh, thank you, Adrian. Let's not forget that we have just a few master classes in, in uh, European universities concerning the, field, the scientific field cultural diplomacy. Uh, I think three or four. One is in the University of Rome. Uh, the second one is, the, is your, is the, in the University of Romania. And the third one is, the, I think, the UK. It's a UK university. I don't remember exactly the name. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is a quite new field. Uh, it is quickly evolving. And the connections of the communities which there, are, there is expertise on this field that is more than necessary in order to uh, make stronger uh, this kind of community of cultural diplomacy and of course uh, enhancing the master classes with the guest, as you said before, and professors from the branches of the Institute of Cultural Diplomacy and of course from other universities abroad. I definitely agree with you and I believe that this field is growing quite rapidly and it has uh, implications not only for the classical field of diplomacy but also for uh, diplomacy in business which is becoming ever more interesting to our graduates to our network of potential employers as well so the openness the international breadth that is provided by today's partner uh, partnership agreement I think is one of its key strong points. I also believe that the European Union through uh, the European Commission has now acknowledged the importance of cultural diplomacy, especially by granting us this project, which is really big uh, to make the master's program in cultural diplomacy and international relations from Cluj and Erasmus Mundus MA. And I believe that we can expand our partnership with non-EU uh, institutes and universities in order to actually become promoters not really of a model of cultural diplomacy, but at least of our common aki, if you will, in terms of cultural diplomacy, especially in the area of uh, uh, interest that is the Western Balkans, but also we work very closely with the partners from the Middle East. So we have a lot of areas where I believe that our uh, partnership could become mutually advantages. Thank you very much, Adrian, for uh, your presence and your contribution to this uh, great agreement, in my opinion. Uh, thank you all for being here with us and uh, see you in the, our next occasion. Thank you so much, Peter. Thanks to all of your colleagues.